Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're actually on the way to pick up some rocks right now um, to add to our aquascape. Somebody I know is taking apart uh, one of their old aquascapes and installing a new one. So I'm actually gonna get the rocks off of them, uh, put it in my tank to add a little bit of that biodiversity. And also they have some interesting looking rocks. So we'll go ahead and uh, get that and bring it home. All right, so we are back home. Um, I don't like taking photos and videos of other people's tanks when they're not ready. He was getting brand new rocks, so of course, um, his tank is gonna look a little messy, and uh, you know, I did want to get this rock back home as soon as possible. Uh, so we have a bunch of just very large uh, arching pieces, which is exactly what I am looking for for this tank. Um, it's nice and green. There's not a lot of coralline island on it, which is fine, but there's a lot of algae for like the tangs to pick on. And um, not really any critters to really to speak of besides a couple of bristle worms. So it's kind of perfect for this tank uh, just because it won't introduce anything too weird. But uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, grab these pieces out and get them into the tank. And I'm gonna start shuffling things around. So for right now, we're just gonna give a good look right here of what the tank looks like, and uh, we'll kind of see what it looks like after. Oh, and on a side note, I don't know if you can see me in the reflection. I'm not gonna video myself because I'm wearing a shirt without sleeves because it's gonna get wet, but I also feel like I look weird in a shirt without sleeves. So you're just gonna be looking at the tank the whole time, probably. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, tops off here. And my tops come in three pieces just to make it easy to uh, remove everything in sections so I don't have to pull the whole top off. There we go. And what we're also going to do, number one, is we're going to turn the Orphix a lot higher so I can see a lot better. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and cut the flow to the entire tank. So the first piece I know I am probably going to move is going to be uh, this one piece right here. It's kind of like its own solitary island. We'll go ahead and move this guy a little forward and we're gonna use that solitary piece to fill in this space back here, which has always been kind of empty. And then uh, I do think we're gonna go ahead and put the arch uh, coming off this back piece right here. But first let's get that piece in. We'll see how it looks like. But like I said, move this forward, move these guys out of the way, and get that island into the back there. So here is the rock itself. Nice little island shape right here. Remember to always uh, hold it with two hands, especially on the bottom. You never know if that piece will snap off. So uh, better, than, better hold it at the bottom than risk breaking the entire thing and dropping it onto the glass. tried it yet but we're gonna try the fitment on this uh, this is one of the pillars that it came with so far it's pretty sturdy it hasn't broken or anything um, so hopefully it, it can hold its shape I just don't know if it'll actually fit where I want it to but we'll go ahead and just give it a try That looks pretty okay, I guess. <laughs> well, we might try moving it around a little bit and shift it around, but uh, just that one piece looks pretty good just because it adds more dimension and places for me to add coral, which is exactly what I wanted. But once we put some sticks on there and it grows out to the side, I think that would look really cool. Or I'll put all my torches there. That's a good idea as well. Okay, this next piece is going to be this guy right here, which has kind of like a like a spoon kind of look to it. It looks pretty good. 
there you go that's a better look right there but it has a nice shelf here and I think we're gonna put that just on this right side of this rock right here there we go ah oh, that 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 so far by far is the uh, best one I've done it almost perfectly locks in place do you see that and then uh, it just it jets out like this on the side gives good dimension I could probably take this flower pot and put it right on top it'll look uh, super clean that is absolutely perfect okay and then next one will be this guy who is kind of like a like a set of stairs um, I think we're gonna replace them where that scully is just because uh, yeah I think it'll still have that nice step look but not nearly as uh, as big there we go. I'm not quite as happy with that one. It doesn't look bad, and it definitely gives me more room to put coral, but, uh, yeah, we'll work on it. But, uh, I still have a few pieces here. I'm going to play with them first, and then, uh, I'll get back to you once I'm finished, because I am down to 3% battery. But, uh, yeah, so far, that piece looks awesome. That piece looks okay. Uh, 50-50 on that one, but, uh, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, I think I have a pretty okay aquascape. Uh, we'll just kind of show it off for right now. So we have these two pieces added, what they swim through right behind. And of course, I'll end up putting you know a lot of this coral on back to the rock. Uh, we have this arch right here. Another just random piece in the back. I'm not exactly sure what to do with that as of yet, but uh, that's okay for right now. We'll just leave it there. I'll just stack something on top. And then uh, we have all the arches here. So once I take this rock out, there is a swim through here. There is a swim through right behind this rock. You have the arch going down and up. Uh, you have places for coral here, here, along this entire rock that's basically an overhanging pillar. Uh, you can see the swim through better right here. Uh, we'll end up probably putting the pectinia back in this corner because I just I don't really have a good place for it like at all uh, But that's okay And then we have an arch right here and then this arch goes all the way to the back to the other rock Overall, I think it's really nice um, It gives me a lot of room to play with as far as where to place coral now and I'll be able to get more coral and more importantly I'll be able to remove a lot of the things I had on the floor um, onto an actual rock so it doesn't impede the look of just like a nice clean sand bed so uh, once again I'll take a quick short little uh, break put all the coral on and I'll see you again in another couple seconds all right so after about six tubes of uh, super glue we have uh, basically everything finished. So here it is as a side view. Uh, I moved a bunch of the hammers and the torches to their own spot. I do plan on growing sticks on this main front rock right here. And then I just put the two pectinia right next to each other because I don't really have anywhere else to put them. Uh, from this full view, I think it looks pretty good. We'll still be moving some things around. Uh, just to keep that sand bed clean, but overall I kind of like the look right now uh, I have all the torches basically right here. There's a lot more depth now So there is like a back a middle and then a front so there's plenty of spaces to put coral uh, Now I may not keep this stick there uh, it, I don't really know where to put it so I just I'm just gonna keep it there for right now But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna move that at some point so that's no big deal. Uh, we have a nice little swim through right there. We have a swim through right there. You can see, uh, well you can't see anymore, but my possum wrasse is quite enjoying this little area. But uh, yeah, I think this little part just looks really cool. It's like a nice little cave system. You have this little piece that branches out where I'll be able to put a lot of sticks, which is super cool. Um, we have basically this little rampy kind of thing just full of gonies so that'll be super nice you can see how nicely they're flowing uh, I do currently have this leather and this rock in the back there I will probably end up removing that at some point but we'll just leave it there for right now uh, same thing with this zoa rock I don't really know where to put it I don't have a good spot for it so that might be moving as well and then lastly we have 
uh, the two little ramps right here. Uh, the Ghanis that are on there, I'm pretty sure are going to stay. I may end up moving the Scolies and the Mushroom at some point. And then the Yellow Acan uh, right here that I've had for a long time is going to stay there as well. But uh, yeah, I am going to put more Coral on there once I figure out what I want to put and what kind of the, basically the organization of it's going to be. But overall, I think it looks pretty darn nice. It gives a lot more dimension, a lot more swim through. And basically, it keeps everything at a low level uh, for, you know, some coral. Then you have all the SPS on the top level with just a lot of openness right in the middle, which is kind of what I like. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for today. That was a good three or four hours of fun right there. But uh, thank you guys as always for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.